Welcome back to Harlequin. This is season one, episode 13, The Final Joke, which is not, but it also could be. I mean, I get it, it's a season finale, but like, there's three seasons now, so like, is it really? But last time, Ivy died. Um, and there was also like reconciliation with the team. Um, Kite Man was there. We're wondering why Harley doesn't recognize that Kite Man and Ivy were going out the whole time. So, there's a lot going on, but yeah, we're going to storm the castle now, hopefully uh, take Joker out and move on with our lives. Because, like, really, at this point, it's like, come on, girl. Let's get in, the, in three, two, one. Gotcha. Not the... I'm not great at having we, did, we literally just saw this. Me in my life. Same. I was expecting a fake out, but nope. Oh, why? Bro, we got to storm the castle. We ain't got time. A few words? <laughs> Wow, that uh wasn't awful. Yeah. Really. As apropos a speech now is when it was originally delivered by William Shatner's Captain James Tiberius Kirk okay. in Star Trek Two. I don't trust any of this ass. <laughs> You'll be missed. Girl again. Maybe maybe if they do plant her, she will grow. I don't know. She she can't be dead. That's <laughs> not me actually getting teary eyed over this. Oh my god, they're really hamming it up. I can't. What's wrong? Nothing. My marriage is totally fine. Oh my god. The <laughs> the street. Oh, that's a shit show. Uh, what about me? Not now, Jim. <laughs> no one knows Joker better than you Hello, and me. Robin. I, I, I've got a file on him. I'll be right back. Okay. What a tricky son of a so-and-so. <laughs> if I say yes to this, what do you bring to the table, Quinn? The thing he wants most. I just, I love that Batman is the, the ultimate straight character. Like, he doesn't break for anything. He doesn't participate in the hijinks at all. Oh, is that Clayface? Oh, Harley. <laughs> or is Batman and Batman? <laughs> oh, yep. Shh, your mouth shut. You do not sound like him at all. Yeah. Look <laughs> at this dumbass son of a bitch. Don't say happy birthday. <laughs> Why is Clayface so bad? He's... Oh! Ah, make it stop! Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> I... Wait. What? Okay, they're murking people on this. Where's my goddamn electric car, Bruce? It seems like you really want me alive. So if you don't do what I say... Oh. I'm... <laughs> the outfit on. Don't, Don't do, do it. it. Do it. <laughs> on, you let them go. I'm sorry, but Dr. Oh, Psycho, can you like not do anything? Harley, you're the missing I swear to God, she better happiness. be faking it. I Thank God, Jesus. Back. I guess I could never stay away from my pudding. <laughs> Always so unoriginal. Please. Why is he? A <laughs> Did anyone hear a splash? I've fallen in acid enough times to know that there should be a splash. You're right about that, Puddin. I love you, but we don't live in a Disney movie, okay? It was the renewing power of nature that brought me back. I and you know, maybe the tears helped a little too. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, are you gonna escape? <laughs> Well then, No Man's Land? Is that what we're trying to do? Okay, pretty pretty good finale. Um, setting up the, you know, it's a pre it's a pretty good jumping off point for a season two, I can see. Um, again, I, don't, I was kind of joking with No Man's Land, but I mean, why not? Why not? Just, I mean, it, it, you already killed off Scarecrow, you can do whatever the fuck you want, right? Like, so, um, in, in, be interesting to see um, what, you know, obviously, Gotham's in turmoil. I know that Mr. Freeze shows up, so I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of turf war or something. Um, especially since Harley is now, like, officially, like, cemented herself as a villain. Which I, I you know, not necessarily agree with that, but whatever. You know, she, she's cemented herself as an independent character, I guess, in the show. Um, so that's an interesting part, at least. 
Um, Ivy coming back, glad that it happened here, not season two, because I think it was, you know, on one hand, I wonder if it would have been better to linger on her death for another episode. Um, but on the other hand, she's such a great character, and I think she's such, such an integral part to this version of Harley. Um, as much as Joker has influenced her, I feel like Ivy has also helped to shape her into who she is. So keeping her alive and you know bringing her back so soon, I think is important. Um, what else? Uh, again, Batman. I'm just. <laughs> I didn't really notice it before, but I'm, I'm just. I mean, like it's been obvious, but like I haven't really said it. But I I just really like that. Like no matter what happens around him, he is completely 100% serious all the time and I feel like other versions of Batman have this sort of snarky sly sarcastic kind of humor but this one is just completely like doesn't understand iron you know this like completely always on it um and I love that I just I think that's it really helps you know it it, it he's not the funny character but it, it elevates the humor around him that again just like the I don't know, it's just the like the little things he did this episode. When he's talking to Gordon and he, he just closes the the card or whatever very slowly. It, uh, for some reason it just killed me. So um yeah, like I said, you know, there's some some Batman iterations. Um like I can think of Kevin Conroy, um, specifically like the Justice League animated series and even the Arkham games. Um you know, Batman, he's a very serious character, but he'll have times when he just breaks. You know, if he just kind of like cracks a joke, you don't expect it to come in. Um, or, you know, he, he says something punny. You know, there's there's times where he where his humor comes out. But here, I haven't seen it once, and I hope it continues for as long as he's in the show. That he just never entertains the bullshit, <laughs> basically. Um, yeah, obviously Joker is cured now. We'll see um, how long that lasts or what happens there. But apparently he's unjokered. Um, so we'll see what happens in season two. And this is a Harley show. So let me talk about Harley a little bit. I like... I appreciate what they're doing with her character. Um, again, she's not really for me. I I just never clicked with her. Like even, ever since she's been introduced, every iteration I've seen, I appreciate her. I'm a fan of the character, but I'm not like... Harley is the, you know, she's the be all end all. Um, you know, I've never really understood the mass appeal of her. Um, but for for being a solo show, I appreciate it. I love the jokes. I love I love what they do with the show um, around her. I can't say I love her character specifically. Um, I think she definitely is flawed, which is awesome because it, it gives her room to grow. And I hope that what she's learned in this season, at least, will not be undone next season. Um, you know, I hope that her relationship with Ivy only strengthens. Same with the crew. You know, I, I think I think her acts in this episode helped to undo all the negativity that she had with her crew because obviously they were always like, "You're putting yourself before us," and she made the ultimate sacrifice here. She was willing to die and fight Joker one on one by you know. Um, all that stuff. But anyways, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm saying, but I, I like the show. You know, it's it's fun. It's 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 fun. That's all I can say, really. Um, I <laughs> I always feel bad when I cut down these reactions. It's like eight minutes long, and I'm like, well, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I, I laughed. I had a good time. Um, there's not much to talk about <laughs> besides that. So. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get into season two. I know season three is on the way eventually. Um, obviously delayed and everything because of stuff going on. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see it once it comes out too. But yeah, we'll get into season two next week. Um, thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Talk to you then. Bye.